number three. He's on the track, so what happens now is our winners final. It's over to you now, Sharon, to get us underway. There goes the green flag, 384, John Golden leads the driver to the turn number one with a great start. 331, Jason Jackson in second place, 347, Dave Fulford, number three, Terry Peacock in the wall, the top bend. Spinner, halfway round the top bend. Number 77 had a big one on the exit of turn four. One double two, Cooper gets spun on the exit of turn four as well. 77 is uh, setting his stall out here on turn number four. Three, three, one, Jason Jackson, the leader. Oh, 77, right into the side of three, eight, four, and also got spun by 27, now four, one, five, four, he gets spun by Phillips. And uh, Davini, Ricky Dovine, 61, in trouble on turn one. 1-9-0, number three, Terry Peacock, and then lays off. 3 3 one is your leader for 3 4 seven. Huge hit going in there from number 10, Whiteman, on 77. And we've lost the wheel down here as well on the exit of turn four. Meanwhile, exiting turn number four are your leaders. 3 3 one, Jason Jackson, and 3 4 seven, David Ball. 239, Nemesis Steve Carter in third place. 331 and 347. These two good friends. The 347 has just pushed 331 wide. Ricky Dovai getting put in the wall on the the top bend, 242 nearly getting taken out by number 10. And 61, no mind, coming out of turn one the wrong way here. 347, the new race leader. Oh, and Boxer Jack just puts Goldie into the side of Dave Ball. What a move from Jason Jackson. You can see there's no love lost between these two. Both going for the jackpot prize of this grand final. 3-3-1, Boxer Jack from 3-4-7, Dave Ball. Big hits going in on the top bench too. Three, number three, Dave Beacock gets put in the wall. 2-4-2 two, two, gets put in the tyres. Both status is 2-9-4, Lee Hughes, who's now running third. 3-3-1, three, 3-4-7, three, 2-9-4, 27, 196, and the rest. Ball number 10 puts Dovine in the wall, turn three. Here comes 331, just nudging one of the back markers and none other than 341 and uh, 190, Steve Bailey. We're halfway next to that show, 331, Jason Jackson, but he's got a problem and a pipe shape problem at that in front of him as he goes into turn number three. He knows that he needs not go past him. Will get splatted. Halfway there for 331 and 347. 294 now catching up. He's got the runaway pace here. 196 and 27 coming strong as well. 331 getting nudged by 347. 190's out of the way. So it's 331, Jason Jackson in the lead. 415, Cornish turns it round on the tavern turn. Who's he looking for? 347 going round the outside. And we've got a rollover. On the, the top bend, rollover for number 10, Paul Wyman. Red flags please, red flags please. And it's over to you now, Sharon, to get us back underway. There's the green flag, 3-3-1, Jason Jackson leads the way. Two nine four on the inside line, going past three four seven. Dave Boyd to turn number three, but Dave Boyd no move to let him through. Two nine four, a little slip 
Bravo. 415 picks up 61 and puts him in the wall on turn one. 331, 294, 196, 347 and 27. And it's 294 Lee Hughes with the pace here. Sixty-one, don't mind, just puts himself on the centre. Three, three, one. Being tracked down here by one nine four. And Lee Hughes takes the lead on the exit of turn number two. Two nine four, your new race leader. Well, it was a rally car last week, and you can see that. But three, three, one has a little nibble at the back end of two nine four. Two nine four's got the pace though. With five laps to go, next time, Sharon, for your race leader, two nine four. Lee Hughes, 331, Jason Jackson at 196. Oh, that's 415! Goes flying through the back of one on the top end. That was a huge following from Scott Cornish out of nowhere. Goodness gracious me, the leaders through 294, 196 in second, 331 now third, 347 in fourth place. 27, 89, they're all up there. But that was just an extraordinary blitz from Scott Cornish. Meanwhile, 294, Lee Hughes, with four to go. Three, three, one. Jason Jackson's had enough of this. He knows he's not going to win, so he's turned it around on turn two. With three to go now for two nine four. One nine six. Here comes three three one. Who's he looking for? Three three one. Reversing away. Right to the edge of the corner. Here comes three three one. Jason Jackson on turn two. Oh! Right through the back of 61, Ricky DeMine, as if he hasn't had enough punishment, he gets another one. Boxer. Last lap now for 294. Lee Hughes, who's just been head and shoulders above the rest here. 196, Joey Palmer second, 347, Dave Ball third. But I don't think any of them are going to have an impact here. Unless 331 does something here. He's turned it round on turn four. Boxer Jack, who's he going for? Oh, T-Bone on 228. As 294, Lee Hughes takes the checkered flag. Lee Hughes is the Cortina Bagger champion. Well done to him. 89 just got right through the side of Boxer Jack. Panda having a good old go. 294 is your winner. And Boxer picks up Panda and flips him. Dave Ball thinks about the head on, but he thought better of it. Well, I tell you what, I'm already excited for the construction derby now. Red flags, please. Red flags, please. Well done, Lee Hughes, the champion. Martin, because now is the time where he's going to be thinking about standing somewhere.